This is Richard, PGS Services. Today we're in Chessington. We're going to be doing a service on a Potterton Performer 28 combination boiler. Now it's very important to get your gas appliances checked annually, make sure they're running safe, efficiently. At the same time, we can check the components, make sure they're all working okay. Now, different boilers require different levels of servicing. The manufacturer's instructions are going to tell us exactly how to service the boiler. But for this one today, we're going to be doing a full strip down and clean. So before we start, it's very important to ask a customer to see if they're having problems with their heating or hot water. This can really help us with any fault finding that may need to be done. Now with this one, we know that the radiators are coming on when they're running the hot water. Also, they're having to top up the system pressure around about once a month, which is far too much. So let's open it up and see what we can find. Right, so first of all, we're going to turn the electrics off, turn the gas off, so we can start work on it. Now this one hasn't got a fuse spur switch, so I've turned it off at the main fuse board. I'm just going to take the fuse out. Oh, so 13 amp, should only be a 3 amp. So we'll just put a 3 amp when we put it back. So we're just going to turn the gas off now at the isolation valve under the boiler. Okay, so this is a Potterton Performer 28 combination boiler. This is the display. This is the pressure gauge. This indicator normally should be reading around about 1 to 1.5 bar. As you can see, it's quite low. That's indicating that there's a leak somewhere. So we're going to check that out later. Okay, so I'm just going to take the case off now. Nice and easy on these, it's just two screws. So now we're inside the combustion chamber. There's a little bit of dirt down the bottom there, we're going to have to clean it out later. So I'm going to be taking the fan out and the fan hood. So I like to take a picture of the wiring just in case I forget when I put it back together. So the blue one's at the top, the brown one's at the bottom. I'm just going to take a quick picture. Also, I need to take these tubes off. So I'm just going to put a bit of tape around the top one so I'll remember which way the tubes go when I go to putting it back together. So we're going to take the fan and the hood out now. I'm just going to loosen off the fan clamp. I'm going to undo the screws on the hood, and then we're going to pull it out. Voila. As you can see, the insulation panel was cracked in two places. So we'll just have to order up a new one for that. Right, so now we're just going to take the burner out and clean the injectors. Okay, so we've opened up the boiler, we've taken the burner out, taken the fan and hood out. Now we can see inside. Now this is typical of the type of dirt you will find in a boiler. So we're just going to clean it out now with some brushes and a hoover. So we're just checking the expansion vessel now. We've attached this pump to the expansion vessel, which is behind the boiler. We're going to check the pressure, and this one's got zero pressure. It should have half a bar, so I'm just pumping it up to half a bar now. Right, so we've cleaned it all out. Everything else looks like it's in good condition. So now we're just going to put it all back together. So that's the boiler all put back together. Now we're going to turn it all back on, run some tests, make sure it's working okay. Now, first thing I need to do is change that fuse. It was a 13 amp, we're going to put a 3 amp in. That's the correct rating for the boiler. Now, we're just going to test the burner pressure, make sure the gas valve's working okay. Just going to attach the U-gauge, and then we're going to run the hot tap on maximum, see what we get.
Right, so now that's all set up, we're just going to go and turn the hot tap on again, do a combustion analyzer reading. Make sure it's all okay. So we know the radiators have been coming on with the hot water. So I've just run the hot tap for a couple of minutes, come back, I'm going to put my hand on the flow pipe of the heating, and that is getting very warm. So that means the diverter valve is letting by. So that's going to need replacing. As you can see the green scale around this pipe, that's where the PRV has been letting by. So we're going to be changing that PRV later on. So that's it. The service is all done. The boiler's working safely and efficiently. We did find a couple of defects, one with the diverter valve and one with the pressure relief valve. So we're going to order up those parts, come back tomorrow and get those fixed. In the meantime, we're just going to fill in the service record and that'll be it. Job done. So I'll see you next time.